Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Um, if you're returning waxy, you're probably like, you look like a bag of smash ass, girl. <laughs> <coughs> I do. I'm still not any better, but I am staying in the city at my parents' house because um, my aunt, who is like a second mom to me, is on her deathbed so that's where this look has originated from um, just doing everything that I can for my cousin who is an only child um, I guess I'm I guess she's not an only child because we were raised pretty much as sisters but Legally, she's an only child, so I'm just up there doing whatever I can for her and her husband and her children and her family and Well, my aunt has taken a turn for the worst um, So I want to film a bunch of videos and I apologize if I look like a bag of smash assholes and sound like a bag of smash assholes But I'm just gonna upload a bunch of videos and put it in queue on my channel that way I can disappear for a little while and be with my family who needs me very much. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish I had fantastic news or like I partied all night, had the time of my life and that's why I look like this. No, no. Honestly, I don't know about anybody else, but 2019 has not been so great. I'm hoping maybe it's like April and I'll come in like a lion and out like a lamb or whatever the hell that saying is. Like just slow down 2019 okay because we can only handle so much anyways so this is just a little commercial haul it's a collective commercial haul and I filmed this before and I was so mad because it was back when I was having I don't know if it was internet problems or um, equipment problems or what it was but it paused and I, I was so mad so mad so I'm going to re-record this video now. This is no longer in the box because I've been using it, but I decided to do my very first Yankee mini haul on this channel. So this is a Yankee um, element warmer that I bought at my local pharmacy out in by F nowhere. Um, I believe it was on sale for $16.99 and you guys will probably be like, that's ridiculously expensive. But Yankee Candle, in my opinion, um, has sold out. You know, you can find their products in gas stations, pharmacies, all across North America and probably all over the world now. But I believe at the same time, and again, this is just in my opinion, when they sold out and started to mass produce for commercial resale in other retailers, I believe their quality started to just plummet. I have a bunch of Yankee candles that I've chopped up and I'm using for wax melts because I've never been able to get a scent throw off of Yankee candle, like ever. So I just stopped trying. I chunk them all up. But I decided because the price was right on these wax tarts to give them a try. These were 25 cents each. Normally my local pharmacy sells them for $1.99 and I think that that is ridiculous. I suppose if they're super powerful and you could cut them in half, you know, a dollar per melt maybe, but these were on sale for 25 cents plus the Yankee warmer. So I thought, meh, for that price, I'll give it a try and then do a review, right? So the first scent that I picked up for 25 cents, and I grabbed two of them because it smells fantastic, is Autumn Pearl. And I apologize, there's a giant ass hair stuck to that one. I don't know if this will focus in this light. Uh, the next one I grabbed, because Grace was with me, is a rainbow cookie. She wants to try that one. I think she's hopeful that it's going to be like Sensi's cotton candy cookie, which it's not. But we'll see if it throws, hopefully. Next one I grabbed two of, because it smells beautiful, is Yankee's Holiday Lights. Um, Bahama Breeze and then Beach Walk. I've heard tons of reviews about Beach Walk the candle 
I know that there's several fragrance oil suppliers that dupe this scent, so I think this one is a popular seller. Um, oh, it just smells super fresh. Love it. Um, also purchased Life's a Breeze in the Tarte. And then last but not least, they had some of the centerpieces, um, wax containers on sale for $2.99. And I grabbed Clean Cotton. That's like the Yankee best-selling laundry scent. And I don't have a centerpiece warmer. So instead, I just chunked, just cut it up like a pie into these equal little wax slices. And I'm going to use that like for $2.99 and as you can tell I have used this because it's a re-recorded haul <laughs> but um, this is a decent sized piece of wax I get a pretty good throw off of that bad boy so we'll see I'm curious to know if their centerpiece wax chunked up or if their candle wax chunked up is going to throw better than their tarts do it should be interesting so yeah, I was super excited to grab some clean cotton, the original clean cotton from Yankee, just to familiarize myself with, I'm trying to learn my laundry scents, so I'm familiarizing myself with this scent. At the same time, this makes a phenomenal mixer. You can make anything into a fresh scent, pretty within reason, but pretty much anything. Um, next stop was, uh, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I grabbed some Ambisense wax. I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite hands down lavender scent. I have no idea why, but Linen and Lavender from Ambisense is my favorite. These are $4.99 here in Canada. Sometimes you'll be able to find specials or deals like when they blow out, if it's summer, you know, and they're blowing out their fall and winter stuff, you can get the Ambisense on sale here. But for the most part, regular price is just regular price, $4.99. And again, because this is a re-recorded haul, I couldn't wait to dip into this. Oh, I love this one. And um, I'm a firm believer that it, well, it is. It has to be because it's all the same. Like if you look on your Sensationals, your Better Home and Gardens, or your Ambisense, it says Rimports on it. So that is the producer of all of these waxes, but I'm dying to find a Sensationals or a Better Home and Gardens that's the same scent as this. So they just pour the oils and then repackage, you know, if it's Sensationals, throw a label on it. Perfect example of a repackage, and I didn't realize this until I got home and filmed the original haul. I grabbed ripped jeans and I was like, oh, in the store, this is beautiful. I have to have this. Ripped jeans from Ambisense is Sensational's laundry basket. So, super bummed about that. Not bummed, like, I love laundry basket. You can never have enough laundry basket, but I paid $4.99 for this. I could have just gone to my local Walmart and paid $3.48 for laundry basket. So, it'd be interesting to make a list. Um, my subscriber, my name, would probably be able to help us start a list at the bottom of this page of the Rimports dupes. If you know any, like for instance, Rip Jeans and Laundry Basket are the same, comment down below and help your fellow waxies out so they don't repurchase like I did a scent like Rip Jeans when I have a whole wax closet full of Laundry Basket at home. You know what I'm saying? So that would be cool. And then from Sensationals, I'm missing two. I'm missing a sugar cookie dough and a laundry basket because I'm, my head is clearly not with me today or yesterday or the day before that or the day before that. But when I packed this, I missed two of the clams out of my drawer. So I grabbed two sugar cookie doughs. I love this scent. Has anybody been able to find this in the States yet? I'm not sure if this was a Canadian exclusive. I know my beloved um, salted caramel popcorn from Sensationals was just released in Canada. But comment down below, has any of my American waxies seen sugar cookie dough or even our popcorn scent down in the States yet? That would be cool. 
because we see not all of them, but sometimes the American sensational sense migrate, make their way up usually a season or six months later. You know what I mean? But comment if you've been able to find any of those down south. And then the last two, I'm not a big fan of Sensational's fruit. Some of their florals, okay, but, or rim ports, I should say. I'm not a big fan of their fruit scents, but I grabbed pineapple strawberry smoothie because I had heard a couple of my waxies talk about this one. And it smells okay. Um, actually, I like this. I don't know how I'll feel about this warming, but you could always throw like a bakery on top of this or even something like clean cotton into this if you're not so much into the fruity scents or if the fruity is way too like in your face, you could tone it down with a bakery or even a laundry. And then the last one I grabbed was Summer Meadow, which is a floral. And I really like this one on its own. This is so familiar to me. I'm trying to figure out where I've smelled this. Your name first or your first name or you, maybe she'll know. What is this? We've smelt this before. What is Summer Meadows? I might smell something. I have to figure it out. But anyways, that's it. That is my collective commercial haul. Stay tuned. I'm going to bring you lots more videos from my parents' house so I can get back up to the hospital and do my thing. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye for now.